Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Glossy Philosophy and my name is Jansen Finman and today you are tuned in for another Three Ways Wednesday. Today we are talking all about three different ways to wear a dress. This dress specifically. Now I featured this dress many times on this channel but it is the dress that keeps on giving. So let's talk about why. The shape is very simple and it's also in a very simple kind of polyester fabric. So nothing super crazy or super trendy. The sleeves have a little bit of a blousing detail on them so that gives a little bit of a dressy feel. It is a high neck so again a little bit more dressy but it is considered a mini dress because it goes above the knees. This dress is from Bowdoin and Bowdoin does a great job of giving you classic silhouettes with modern colors and prints. This print has a very small floral print and it is kind of classic in its vibe but the colors make it really fresh and really modern. So the colors that are in here it is based in navy so the background is navy and then the flowers themselves have whites, pinks, corals, and greens for the leaves. So when you have a dress like this you can pull any of those colors and wear either sweaters or jackets to complement the dress itself. We are in spring, however, because if you live in the Midwest or maybe something cold or somewhere colder, then sometimes you have to do some layering. So you could absolutely wear this dress all by itself with any one of these necklaces and boots or pumps, anything like that, and you would look amazing. But we are going to start layering some pieces and showing you different looks and different transitions for taking one dress to three different levels. Okay, so let's start with the most casual first. Spring is a great time to break out those utility jackets or those camp style jackets, and this one is no exception. This is my Marrakesh green cropped jacket. Now some people would consider this a camp one because of the really big pockets on the front. This one kind of reminds me of a military utility jacket and I just, I love the boxiness of this, but because of the material, it's very, very flowy. And I think it suits dresses and skirts really nicely. I'm going to be pairing it with a tassel necklace. So tassels are really fun because they give you some great length, but they're not really heavy in weight and they're not really heavy in visual aspect of them. So as you can see, when I put on the green jacket, it really pops some different colors that are in the dress. I'm wearing navy tights, which I think makes this dress a little bit dressier. At this point, I'm not wearing my black tights with this dress anymore because then I would be pairing it with different jackets. But going with a navy, kind of switching it up from black to navy can really reinvigorate some of your clothes from last month or even a couple months ago. I also like wearing this dress with burgundy tights, which definitely makes it a little bit more whimsical, but the navy kind of grounds it and pops the navy background. So navy and green go really nicely together, and the green pops the green that's in the dress, but it's also on trend with the utility and camp style, and the tassel necklace kind of harkens back to sailors and nautical vibes with all of those knots that they have to tie, and it also kind of is reminiscent of a dog tag necklace. So if you wanted to go all in, you could do a dog tag necklace. I like kind of mixing and matching some of the trends because then it doesn't feel a little bit too costumey. Again, with shoes, you could go full on military vibe with combat boots or boots that are reminiscent of that. You could go with pumps, maybe not with this one, but some really cute flats or riding boot, depending on the weather, could be an excellent option. So where am I wearing this to? I'm wearing this anywhere where there's a casual vibe or I have a lot of errands to run hanging out with the kiddos, doing a bunch of cooking, whatever needs to be done around the house, this is a great one because you're just grabbing a dress, grabbing a jacket, and you're grabbing a really simple necklace that's not going to get in your way. You can definitely dress it up with some statement rings as well. So that is option one. Now, 
if you are feeling a little bit more on that preppy side in the spring, spring is also a really great time to bring out the prep. <laughs> so if you didn't know, the 1990s are coming back hard in the fashion and beauty world. And I kind of love it because I really like this idea of a grown-up preppy look. So we are going to go with a really bold necklace from J. Crew from a long, long time ago. And I'm going to grab a very classic cotton cardigan from J. Crew Factory. Again, everything is based in navy, but this takes a little bit of that sweetness away and brings back a little bit of that collegiate, a little bit of that prep style that was super popular in the 90s. So the thing that makes this outfit is definitely the necklace. If you took away the necklace, all of a sudden this feels maybe a little young and a little boring, right? There's nothing exciting about this outfit. It's just a regular cardigan and a regular length and then a floral dress. So to sophisticate it, to grow it up a little bit, we are adding the statement necklace. Something else that you could do if you're not really a statement necklace kind of gal is take away the statement necklace and add a really fun belt either in a color like a neon which is also very popular right now or maybe a burgundy or you could even try a pattern because the pattern of the dress is quite small. You could maybe play a little bit on that whimsy side and go for like a leopard or a cheetah print. That could be really interesting. What are you wearing on your feet? Same kind of thing. I would probably go with either flats or a riding boot to continue that preppy vibe and I don't think it makes it too costumey because this is just a classic dress with a classic cardigan but then you're popping it with the necklace and it elevates it and it grows it up a little bit. You don't feel like your kiddo is going to be wearing the exact same outfit, which is always key when we are getting dressed as moms. <laughs> so going from preppy into something a little bit more sophisticated, maybe you have a work event, maybe it's a special occasion, maybe it's a Tuesday, and that's just kind of how you're feeling then you want to add in a blazer. So the blazer that I've chosen is from Ever Eve. It is the Frankie Hooded Blazer and it is a workhorse in my wardrobe. It is so good. I'm going to be pairing it with the Structural Silver Necklace from J. Crew, and then popping on the white blazer. So this white isn't a stark white or an optic white as they often call it in the fashion world, it is definitely a cream, which I think is really nice because oh, an optic white blazer and a crepe could be a mess, especially if you have kids with sticky fingers, which I currently have. So we've added in a little bit of a longer jacket. This is just a standard jacket. So here, here's kind of like my hip area. So it's just a little bit longer, very modern silhouette clean lines. We do have a button so you could button it up if that's your vibe, but this one has a hood so it definitely modernizes it and makes it a little bit less corporate, a little bit more playful. Even though there's clean lines in the front, there's a little bit of playfulness in the back. To balance all this out, I've chosen a kind of substantial pendant from G. Crew, and I think because we want the eye bouncing up and down continuously in this outfit, it's really important to grab something that has a little bit of weight because the jacket definitely takes up a lot of visual space. There's an artist that says that each color has its own visual space and white definitely pops and takes up the most space. Black takes up the least, it recedes and you almost like don't even notice it against other colors. So when you're wearing something white, you need to kind of balance out that visual weight with something else that has a little bit more visual weight. If I shorten this necklace, all of a sudden it doesn't feel quite right. Something feels off. Same thing with putting on a belt. You would cut the silhouette and you would stop this amazing line that's happening with the jacket. So no belt with this one, long pendant necklace, and then the eye is just happy to move up and down, up and down, making you look lean 
and long. And who doesn't want that? Plus, you already have this elastic waistband in this dress, so you already have a little bit of shape and kind of an otherwise flowy dress. I like the juxtaposition of this outfit between the structure of the jacket and the flowiness of this dress. I think that's really, really fun and again, really, really playful. Because it does have a hood, you have to make sure that that is okay at work if that's where you want to wear it to, but this would be a great one in a creative field or as a teacher or somewhere like that where maybe you're giving a talk and you need to dress up but you don't want to wear a suit. So this is a great alternative to a suit. You can meet a client in this or you could bake a cake in it. It doesn't matter because you look good, you feel good, and there you go. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this Three Ways Wednesdays. I love these videos because it really forces me to get my creative juices flowing and take one item that I just keep going back to over and over again and kind of remix it and reimagine it in very different ways. If you buy things in more classic silhouettes with classic patterns, all of a sudden your wardrobe becomes so much easier to mix and match. That doesn't mean that you can't buy trendy pieces and it doesn't mean that you can't buy pieces that are a little bit more now. But those pieces are going to be the ones that you mix and match in with your classic pieces like this dress. So thank you again for watching. I do fashion videos every Wednesday, beauty videos every Friday. On Mondays we're tackling very specific things like monthly edits or special occasion dressing, things like that. So make sure that you hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe, and I will see you very soon in the next one. Bye!